Suppose for a minute that you are looking for an ocean capable explorer yacht that has been kitted out with a whole suite of diving equipment. Well, you have come to the right place because in this video we will check out this Nordhaven 55. And best of all, she is currently listed for sale with Nordhaven Brokerage, but more about that later. This is just a quick request to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've got some really interesting stuff coming up soon, including a trip to Antalya in Turkey, the Khan Yachting Festival, and also the Southampton International Boat Show. So please hit that subscribe button. This Nordhaven 55 was built in 2006, and she is hull number 16 of the 55 range. She has a length overall of 55 feet and a beam of 18 feet. She is powered by a lugger 1276A 340 horsepower diesel engine, giving her a top speed of nine knots and a cruising speed of eight knots. As well as her main engine, Rambling Rose also has a 70 horsepower lugger wing engine. Her fuel tanks can hold 2,350 gallons of fuel and when motoring at her cruising speed, you can expect a range of around 3,000 nautical miles. If you were adventurous enough, this means that you could cross the Atlantic and travel from New York to the UK. Although if it were me, I would drop the speed to seven knots and install some fuel bladders. Obviously, this graphic is just for illustration purposes. And remember at the beginning of this video, I said that this Nordhaven 55 would be perfect for diving enthusiasts. Well, that's because Rambling Rose has a scuba dive compressor with several filling manifolds located in a cockpit locker. She also has multiple stowage points for diving tanks in the lazarette. This is because Rambling Rose was originally commissioned by a Swiss engineer who was passionate about expedition cruising, scuba diving and underwater photography. When it comes to her generators, Rambling Rose has two, a 20 kilowatt and 12 kilowatt generator, both made by Northern Lights. Now we have checked out her engine room, let us have a look at the external areas of this Nordhaven 55 before we check out her interior spaces and, of course, her pilot house. The swim platform on this Nordhaven has also been extended. A commercial duty swing down polished stainless steel ladder has been added to better accommodate diving activities. The cockpit has a curved stairway to port that leads up to the boat deck. In the cockpit is also where we find the large hatch that leads down into the lazarette. There are also various storage compartments, the shore power connections, dive tank holders, and a hot and cold fresh water shower. Next, let us ascend the stairwell up onto the boat deck. To port on the boat deck, we find this steelhead SM1500R crane. It quickly launches and recovers the vessel's tender, which is a 13.5 foot Nautica wide body rigid inflatable. There is a 40 gallon gasoline tank located on the starboard side of the boat deck that is used to service the tender. When the tender is off the boat deck, the chocks can be removed, leaving a wide and large open area that can be used for relaxing, entertaining guests, or just lounging in the sun. Next, we come to the flybridge that has an FRP hardtop. Behind the helm is a composite table with built-in U-shaped settee. There are two Todd helm chairs, which both face the stainless steel destroyer-style ship's wheel. On the helm we find the Ritchie Compass, a Furuno multifunction display, the Simrad Autopilot controls and all of the other main engine controls and navigation systems. On the foredeck we find the large chain locker that can be accessed through the Freeman hatch. The ground tackle arrangement allows for two anchors and includes an upgraded hydraulic anchor windlass with hydraulic pump anchor chain washdown. Note the non-slip surface as we head aft towards the Portuguese bridge. Next we enter the large saloon. To port is an L-shaped built-in seating area with a large teak table. The built-in seating has loads of storage space underneath. These teak chairs are also custom built specifically for this Nordhaven. Note as well the overhead grab rail, which is great for when you are moving around this area whilst motoring through those big seats. 
Next, let us have a look at the galley that is located on the port side of the vessel. This well kitted out galley with its double stainless steel base and sink has everything you need for those long voyages between your ports of call. Ventilation is excellent and is achieved via an opening port light. The master stateroom has a full king size mattress and a full size hanging locker. On the port side are no fewer than three portholes which offer fresh air and of course natural sunlight. The master stateroom has a large ensuite head that is very spacious. The large shower also has dual shower heads. In the guest cabin is a single bunk that is located on the starboard side. On the port side is a full size bed. Both staterooms have access to the forward head. And the forward stateroom does have a partition door for privacy. The captain's cabin is located directly behind the pilot's house. It can also be utilised as a third guest cabin. Located aft to starboard in the pilot's house is a day head that can be used by the occupants of the pilot's house as well as serving the captain's cabin. And finally, once you have descended the stairway from the galley, you find yourself in the utility room. There is a washer and dryer, as well as a defib and driver's alert network oxygen bottle. And finally, we come to the pilot's house. As with all Nordhavens, the pilot's house aboard this Explorer yacht is fully kitted out with all of the controls and nav equipment needed to venture to far off places around the world. There is also a raised seating area behind the helm. At the time of making this video, Rambling Rose is listed for sale with Nordhaven brokerage for $1.25 million. If you want to find out more, then I will leave a link as well as the listing broker's email address in the video description. So what do you think about this Nordhaven? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. I also want to say a big shout out to my channel members for supporting my YouTube channel. YouTube's channel membership is basically their version of Patreon. If you'd like to find out more about becoming a member of my channel, then I'll leave a link in the video description. If you have got access to a boat that you would like me to feature on my YouTube channel, then feel free to either send me a DM via my Instagram or send me an email. You've guessed it, I'll leave my email address in the video description. As mentioned earlier on in the video, I've got some interesting stuff coming up, so make sure you don't miss out by subscribing to my channel and clicking on that notification bell.